Hi, Jacob. Thanks for sending your question. There are lots of ways to solve this equation. Um, I'm going to choose to use a handy dandy little trick called substitution. I want to make this look like a quadratic equation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let u equal the square root of x. If I do that, then the square root will go away in the middle and I'll have a squared term um, up here because u squared will equal the square root of x squared which will equal x. So instead of having the radical in there, we can have an equation that looks like this. 2u squared minus 9u plus 4 equals 0. Much easier to solve. We can solve this by factoring using the star method. So I'm looking for something that multiplies to 8 and adds to negative 9. I'm going to go ahead and put the leading coefficient, this 2, in uh, both of these little triangles up here. but. Otherwise, it looks the same as what we usually do. So something that multiplies to 8 and adds to negative 9. Well, negative 8 and negative 1 definitely multiply to 8 and add to negative 9. Um, as soon as I filled this whole star in, I'm going to look to my left and my right over here. And I'm going to see if I can reduce these like they're fractions. 2 goes into 8 four times. So this turns into... 1 over negative 4, and this doesn't reduce at all. I'm going to put an x next to my numbers on top, and that's going to be my factors for this quadratic equation. We'll have x minus 4 times 2x minus 1. Whoops. Those are supposed to be u's, pardon me. We're still solving in terms of u. So we'll have u minus 4 and 2u minus 1. Okay. Um, we've now solved in terms, or factored in terms of u. Let's go ahead and solve these factors. So u minus 4 equals 0 means u equals 4. 2u minus 1 equals 0 means, of course, u equals 1 half. So we've solved in terms of u, but what we want to do is solve in terms of square root of x. So let's just go ahead and put um, square root of x back anywhere there's a u. So we have square root of x is equal to 4 and square root of x is equal to 1 half. Well we can square both sides of this equation. Square root of x squared is just x. 4 squared is 16. Again over here square root of x squared. We'll go ahead and notate that on this one. Um, is x, and 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Um, so those will be your tentative solutions. Since we use this method up here, we've got to double check that these solutions actually work with the original equation. So we've got to plug them, plug them back in to the original equation. I'll go ahead and do 16 and show you that it does indeed work and you can do one fourth on your own and you'll see that it works as well. So we have 2 times 16 minus 9 times the square root of 16 plus 4 is equal to 0. 2 times 16 is 32 minus 9 square root of 16 is 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. We get 32 minus 36 plus 4 is indeed equal to 0. So 16 checks out. So thanks again for your question, Jacob, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.